I definitely felt in Slater Kinney like we always had the modifier placed in front of us, female, even though that was not a description of what our music sounded like. And so it felt arduous to just get to the place where people stopped using that as a way of describing our music. People would often ask, what does it feel like to be a woman playing music? And I would say, this is what it feels like. You asking me this question is exactly what it feels like to be a woman playing music. Because it's become, the conversation about women playing music has become part of the experience of women playing music. And I'm tired <laughs> of that. You know, like men at the time I felt like never had to, the, the, their sense of just being able to be there that they didn't ever have to question their um, their validity. So, wow, that must feel awesome to never have to question why you're there. Um, and so at the beginning, it was, you know, frustrating, and we just kept at it. You know, by the third or fourth record, people stopped writing about us like that, and it was awesome. It was awesome. It also, there was this frustrating thing where the lineage in terms of the way people described, you know, who came before us or who our influences were, were from this very small pool of other women whom we didn't sound like at all. You know, we didn't, we did not sound like Joan Jett. We definitely didn't sound like Blondie. And when finally someone just said, oh yeah, well this, you know, this kind of sounds like Wire or television or Zeppelin, it's like, great, it should, music's music. And that, so that was, yeah, that was the most frustrating thing, I think, was just it took a long time just to kind of get to zero.